thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. It's the latest trend with your girl, Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a reaction. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's your girl, the Ami. Today's reaction is gonna be from Paul Bridges' recent podcast that he did on the Winners Talking podcast. First of all, okay, first of all, can I just say that, um, was it even an interview? That interview was so good like it was so good and this was my first time actually coming across the winners talking podcast and i don't particularly like watching or listening to podcasts especially in the uk scene i just feel like everybody has a whole bunch of opinion on things and relationships and most of the time men always love to talk about women and drag women rather than focusing on how they can better each other how they can just like advise each other like why don't you talk about men issue why don't you talk about you know like just building each other up like why don't you create that space where men are able to talk about real issues but instead they talk about women this women that women are gorgeous dragging women but i don't know if this is how they be talking this is the first time i've come across them but if this is how they are all the time then big up them because the conversations were so mature like some of the things that they were saying i was just like raw like my, men in the uk think like this it was so constructive it was actually edifying you don't tend to listen or watch podcasts and feel edified like and feel like you've taken some value away from it it's the typical usual conversations that gets recycled it just gets really boring but this interview covered like so many things like even though they brought paul on the show it was just like that trio that combo mwah, mwah, mwah. yes it was real genuine it was open it was transparent it was challenging and they didn't hold back and it wasn't targeted it was constructive it was objective like it literally gave everything a podcast should in my opinion and yeah good question good question like they really listen i don't i don't know his name but he really did bring good questions like seriously i love the pace i love the tone but yeah the, like just a little introduction about the podcast the winners and what's it called the winners talking podcast paul recently went on there and spoke about what was it titled the truth about blue therapy i literally just finished watching it the truth excuse me the truth about blue therapy calculated couples women online and i expect i guess traditional something something like i can't see the rest but yeah that's exactly what it was it was a combination of of things you know speaking about way from the beginning before the original blue therapy came out and how paul got involved in that and how he knew andy from uni days and you know i liked the questions that they were asking there were really good questions like how does andy feel about the spin-off the spin-off like that's how some people can can see calculated couples to be you know like a spin-off of um blue therapy but like one thing that do you know what i rate paul like i actually do rate paul one thing that i really liked is how he was like you know despite whatever's happened between me and andy andy has basically created a bridge for people like him and has made the way for creators to not to even have the confidence let alone get access to resource to even do great that is what it should be about like nobody should be a gatekeeper and the fact that he's able to now look at channel 4 for example and say raw like you know it would be great like it's it's a dream if they would even look at my way and see what i'm working with and then yeah and see how we can like do you get what I mean? Like, make this work. I love that he said that. Like, and I love his stance on this whole situation because what you what the UK scene tend to do is feed off that toxicity and i really feel like that's what sets him apart like the more you listen to paul and the guys on that winners talking podcast like if there was more of them then i feel like it would show the younger generation that you don't have to just put out toxic to 
um to do great to do good like do you know what i mean to to get the buy-in like if you are doing something that is good then you're gonna get that exposure like those doors are gonna open for you because look at what andy's doing now working with mainstream media like we need to come out of this box that we keep putting ourselves into and actually aim for bigger things like let's actually break through into that media like into that space and the fact that you know paul is able to identify what andy has done and say you know what my show is completely different to his but if it wasn't even the fact that I was even on blue therapy, then would I even make it kind of thing? Like, would I even, would I even be where I am today? Like, that was a great opportunity. And oftentimes, when people fall out, they forget what that person has done for them. So I just really appreciate, like, Paul's honesty, to be honest, like the more you speak to him like his his sound like his actually sounds and i thoroughly enjoyed this podcast there was so much that was said like even when they spoke about like women when he was asked about nigerian women and westernized women and like it, everything is just like done respectfully like his 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 responses are respectful and it's truth like that's his truth some of it is facts and that's what conversation should be about like that is what debating should be about like nobody should be getting offended because your opinions do not align like do you get what i mean like that is the whole point of you know discussions like discussions should be healthy you should always agree and it's okay if you don't agree it's actually okay to agree to disagree like do you get what i mean so yeah it was really 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 good like you actually get to see another side of paul like you know now he's breaking into producing and he spoke about how cu calculated couples came about the casting how they are real couples real relationships what sets his show apart from blue therapy and really like where he is like wanting to go with that his relationship with or non existing relationship with Chuma like when he was just like I like I don't even know her last name like we like I don't think you understand we just don't we don't know each other I just never I never thought that people thought the way that these guys were thinking and I don't know if it's an age thing I don't know if it's a maturity thing but you can you can feel the maturity do you get it like you can't feel it like uh-huh like you are talking to men like and you're not talking to guys who are just wanting to go with the flow so they will just you know like do what they think everybody's doing or say what they think like people want to hear like they're going at their own pace like that's what i really liked like it was the pace of it all it was the pondering it was the dialogue do you get what i mean it was like okay you know what you said something here let me just talk about that for a little minute before we move on to this you know it wasn't like okay let's follow the script like let's make this like trending like let's make this go viral like say something punchy it was like nah like boys we're having a discussion yeah man like it was really really good guys calculated couples i'm really excited and what i like when people do interviews especially when they bring something new or if they are in a show is when they actually do do these interviews because i feel like you understand them like a little bit more and a little bit better now after i've watched this i i'm just i'm in support like i'm in support but not because i'm biased but because i see the vision like i get it and i'm a big advocate and believer that there's enough bread for everybody do you get what i mean like nobody should be gatekeepers and it's interesting that people do this like what's and I, i'm a, kind of doing it you know like what's andy thinking about this and what did you think about this and i think of course because the shows are so similar but now that paul has explained it um the show is in fact different and actually how he explained it when he said uh, what did he say he said something like it's like you bring in married at first sight and ready to love or something like that like they're both about love and romance and relationships but the concepts are different you know the casts are different the 
dialogues conversations are different and why is it like let's say in america you can have ready to love pull a ring on it you can have all of these shows happening at the same time and everybody's happy to watch them but in the uk if something similar was to happen at the same time it would be a problem and people would try to you know put them against each other and create this narrative like why do we do that i feel like we create our own like toxic our mindset is not alleviated to the to where it needs to be it's not a competition like everybody's got their own lane and there's enough bread for everybody to eat but um oh man like paul is hilarious it reminds me of like you know like how they do this saying like tell me you're nigerian without saying that you're nigerian it's one of those like tell me your age without telling me your age it's like everything is just like <laughs> okay do you know what I mean? But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There was just like so much, like I was literally like hooked to the screen. Like there was so much that they spoke about, like trying to think of everything. Like my mind, I'm lit, my brain is literally like, <gasps> I need to watch that again like i could actually watch that again like that's how good it was i can't lie like i'm not even like capping it was actually really good i just liked how edifying it was like and i love the fact that as um as a woman i was able to sit in that conversation and not feel attacked even when they spoke about women do you know what i mean like i was able to sit outside of that conversation and learn like so it's two dimensional like i love the fact that it kind of gave those different levels and different narratives and it just created that environment to have the conversations that we need to have i don't know if that is how they communicate like let's say they are in relationships and they need to resolve some kind of conflict or there's certain ideologies to be discussed if there is if they will still respond the same however like i do feel like the way that they responded and like just their thought process i think that's what really like got me it was their thought process i think it's evident that they'll be able to facilitate those conversations that we really need to have between men and women to start bringing that healing like i just loved it like i'm just like please how did i not know about your podcast like hello like do you talk like this all the time or was just a one-off like i need to know because as in like we just don't see this like do you get what i mean so but yeah man like it was really good like really good conversation i think that particular conversation with paul being in there even though it was really to talk about you know like the things that paul are doing and the shows and everything like that like the way that the conversation was navigated was really beautiful it was really fluid it was really really interesting like i can't lie but yeah guys that is this little reaction from the winners talking podcast with paul bridges if you guys want to watch it go ahead and find it and watch it it was really really good but i will speak to you guys in my next video don't forget to like share comment subscribe and all that good stuff bye guys Bro.